In part one of bringing sea fever to home, we provisioned and set out for the first leg of our trip to Liverpool, Nova Scotia, 47 nautical miles away. We explored the small town and said goodbye to our crew member, Andre, who joined us for the first leg of the trip. We left Liverpool early the next morning. It was another eight hour journey to Shelburne, Nova Scotia. We checked the weather forecast before untying the lines. It was another calm day with light winds on our bow. Most of my sailing experience has been on the St. John River in New Brunswick, Canada. That's our final destination for this trip. This was my first overnight trip coastal cruising around Nova Scotia. Having breakfast underway, we always choose things that are quick and easy. Dad likes to get away early in the morning because as we were to find out later this day, these waters freshen late in the afternoon and it creates a washing machine effect as we tried to get into the harbor. We often spend several days at a time sailing on our boat, and people often ask what the girls do to keep themselves preoccupied. It never takes long for them to find something to do. Dad and I rotated through one hour shifts on this trip. I was surprised to see how few boats were out with us. We'd passed a fishing boat and this one sailboat on this trip. Luckily he had the wind coming from behind. Once you pass McNutt's Island, it takes about an hour to get into Shelburne Harbour, which is one of the world's best natural harbours. The long route into Shelburne Harbour is well marked. After a long day, we were met by friends and family to enjoy some delicious food and drinks. It was a wonderful end to a beautiful day, sailing into Shelburne, Nova Scotia. A tropical storm had formed south of us and we were definitely going to have to keep an eye on it. Forecasts were showing that tropical storm Chris could reach wind speeds of 53 knots.
Join us on the next leg of our trip as we travel from Shelburne, Nova Scotia to Cape Sable Island, a land full of beautiful white sand beaches.